Hello everyone, dear football fans, as always you got on the channel Life Football. Conflicts a tough fight between a Manchester City Real Madrid football player after the final match. This has never happened in the history of the Champions League. You will also find out how the head coach Carl and Clody commented on all this. All this and the main news from the world of football over the past day are right now in this issue. Friends, every day we try for you and we ask you to support our channel. If you like our video, just subscribe and click on the bell, but if you are very generous, then I will be grateful to you for your like and comment under this video, well, we are starting and enjoy watching. A serious fight broke out in the transfer market for forward Victor Asimcion, whose rights are owned by Napoli. According to information from the journalist Fabrizio Roman, Manchester United, Chelsea, Newcastle and PSG are claiming for the football player. At the moment, the Reds are considered the favorite for the transfer of the African striker. The amount of a potential transfer of Asimcion can be in the order of 100 million euros. The player himself does not want to leave Napoli, but perhaps a generous offer will change his plans. Therefore, it remains for us to find out only this all summer. PSG decided to part ways with Brazilian striker Neymar. This is reported by the publication Friends Football. At the moment, the management of the French club is considering options for parting with the player. In Paris, they are ready to both sell Neymar and rent him out with the right of subsequent redemption. In addition, PSG is ready to discuss the exchange of the striker for Manchester City midfielder Bernardo Silla. Among the contenders for Neymar, Chelsea in London is already called, as well as Manchester United, and the term of the current contract between the parties is calculated until the end of 2025th year. Manchester City striker Erling Haaland has not abandoned the idea of a potential move to Real Madrid. According to journalist I, Britsev Roman, the Norwegian still dreams of one day being on Santiago Bernabeu. In turn, the Real Madrid management shares the striker's desire. The Royal Club also want Haaland to play for their team. The parties do not rule out a transfer in the next two or possibly even three years. Recall that in the first match against Real Madrid in the semi-finals of the Champions League, Holland did not score a single effective action. We are experiencing huge disappointments. Let's not go around in circles, it was a great way, although we were just one step short of the final. We are disappointed because, unfortunately, we were good on the pitch, but luck bypassed us. We were up against a very strong team and we generally coped with our task. There were a few moments to take your chance this evening. It could have helped us, but it probably wasn't enough. I can't blame my players for anything, because they gave their all. We tried to play our football and give all our energy on the field, but now we need to finish this season at a high level. Well, friends, yesterday in the semi-finals of the Champions League, Manchester City hosted Real Madrid at this stadium. The townspeople managed to confidently defeat Madrid and reach the final of the Champions League. But, as it turned out, all the most interesting things happened in the dressing room after the final whistle. According to the Madrid edition of Mark, after the final whistle of the referees in the stands of the premises, the players of Man City Real clashed in conflict. It is known that the City players, namely Fiesch and Erling Haaland, laughed at the Real Madrid players who were heading to their dressing room at that moment. The players of the network called the Real Madrid players losers after the final whistle, and the players of the cream team did not tolerate such brazen behavior. After verbal sparring, it came to a real massacre in the stands of the Manchester team stadium. It was necessary to stop this brawl by the head coach of the teams, namely Carl Ancelotti, as well as Jose Pagardiola, and as can be seen in the video that got into the network, the stadium security also had to stop all this. At the same time, it is known that the referee recorded and in several yellow cards to the players of both teams who entered the match protocol. Guys, how did you like yesterday's game? Did Manchester City deserve to win? Write your opinion in the comments below this video, and also like this video if you watched this game yesterday. Also, guys, be sure to subscribe to our channel in order to be always up to date with all the football news. Thank you so much for watching and we will hear from you in the new issue.